Hello and good day. Presenting. Motivational and inspirational quotes. By my favorite pastor in the world, Joel Osteen. Here are now 10 more quotes 361 through 370. Let's get started with number 361. God, I'm trusting you to take care of my weeds. I didn't sow them, and I know I don't have to reap them. You keep honoring God, being your best, and God will move the wrong people out of the way. He'll restore what's been stolen, and he'll straighten out the situation at work. The battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. Be still and know that he is God. You shouldn't be constantly uptight, worried, rebuking, resisting, and trying to fix things. It takes a mature person to say, Everything is not perfect. I have some struggles and some situations I wish were different, but can I tell you that all is well? I'm at peace. I'm not upset. I know at the right time God will remove the weeds. Until then I'm going to relax and enjoy my life. 362. The key is to trust him while you're waiting. Trust him while his plan is unfolding. Don't get discouraged by what you don't see happening. Don't live frustrated because it's taking longer than you thought. The right time is the best time. 363. Set your mind to positive when you have this positive mindset, you cannot be defeated. No matter what comes your way, you shake it off and keep moving ahead. Life is like a car, you have a forward gear and a reverse gear. You decide which way you want to go. It doesn't take any more effort to go forward than it does backward. If you choose to focus on the positive and keep your mind set on your possibilities then you will move forward and see increase in favor. But if you dwell on the negative and stay focused on problems and what you don't have, and how impossible your dream looks, that's just like putting your car in reverse you'll go backward. It's all about what you choose to dwell on. You can choose to dwell on what's wrong with you or what's right with you. You can choose to look at how far you've got to go, or you can look at how far you've already come. There is good and bad in every situation. If you'll have the right attitude, you can always find the good. 364. Father, thank you for your instruction to meditate on your word and fill my mind with thoughts of faith and hope and victory. Thank you for your equipping power to water the right thoughts and see them take root and guard them from attack. I believe you will bring me to good success and prosper me in everything I do. In Jesus' name. Amen. 365. Don't complain about the problem. It's not random. You're going to need that victory in the future. God is taking you from glory to glory. When you come through this challenge, that victory will be the fuel you use that gets you to the next level of glory. 366. A lot of people use the excuse, I'm negative because I've had negative things happen to me. They'll offer excuses like these. My business didn't make it. A friend did me wrong. I had a bad childhood. I'm dealing with a sickness, and that's why I'm sour. It's not your circumstances that make you negative, it's your attitude about those circumstances. You can take 20 positive people and 20 negative people and give them the exact same problem put them on the same job, in the same family, and at the same house and the 20 positive people will come out just as positive and happy, with great attitudes. The negative people will still be just as negative. They can have the same problems and same circumstances, but much different attitudes doubt what's the difference positive people have made up their minds to enjoy life. They focus on the possibility, not the problem. They're grateful for what they have, and they don't complain about what they don't have. Positive people know that God is in control, and that nothing happens without his permission. They choose to bloom where they are planted. They're not waiting to be happy when the situation changes. They're happy while God is changing the situation. When you're positive, you're passing the test. You're saying, God, I trust you. I know you're fighting my battles. If you are not happy where you are, you won't get where you want to be. Don't wait for everything to change before you have a good attitude. If you have a good attitude now, God can change the situation. 367. God is a progressive God. He wants every generation to increase. 368. Quit comparing your gifts, your looks, your success to someone else. Be you. You are powerful, you are anointed, you are gifted, you are beautiful. Nobody can do you like you can do you. 
369. We draw in what we constantly think about. You can't think defeat and have victory. You can't think weak and have strength. You can't think you're not able and accomplish your dreams. Your life is going to follow your thoughts. 370. Father, thank you for the amazing. Much, much more. Promise that you made to David and to me as well. Thank you that I have everything I need right now to fulfill my destiny, to live a life that brings pleasure to you. I believe that you are on the throne and nothing I need will be a minute late. In Jesus' name. Amen.